Well good morning and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now this uh, plant you see in front of you was bought for a measly five quid and it's, uh, we thought it was an Odontoglossum which it probably is some intergeneric hybrid uh, but it's losing its uh, flowers now, these are the last two, it did have five on uh, you don't repot really them until they finish flowering which is, this is about to do it's in some type of choir and you can always uh, recognise these uh, plants because they've got uh, two small leaves at the bottom of the pseudobulb and two, uh, two large leaves on the top This, is co this of course is a, is a hybrid and they'll be uh, much easier to keep than the species. Uh, they don't have any particular time of year to bloom, but the usual form is a simple spike with as many as ten or more blooms on them. Uh, the species of these, which are much more difficult to keep, uh, they don't like warm conditions. But hybridising them with warmer species uh, has helped to, uh, well it creates an intergeneric hybrid which is quite happy in intermediate conditions. Uh, they grow quite well these indoors on windowsills. The intergeneric uh, odontoglossums it includes now the uh, Bialara, Colmanara, Odontiada, Vulcastiara and also Wilson area and there are others but uh, I'm not going into all that. Now uh, Vulcastiara is often sold in garden centres under the name of Cambrias and this hybrid was named after uh, Charles, I think it was called Vulcastique from Belgium and one of his most famous Vulcus tiaras was named Cambria. So that's how it still gets its name. Uh, and Vulcus tiara is of course a trigeneric hybrid of Odontoglossum, uh, what's the other two? Miltonia and Cochiloda. Or Cochiloda. So it's coming to its end of uh, flower in now so we're going to take it out of its pot cut the stem off and uh, and have a look at the roots move the stem and these clips are quite handy so we'll keep that one and move the spike and we'll cut this off Take this out of its shell. Yep, lovely root system. Quite damp. But it's in this. It's, it's almost like soil. It's strange stuff, but uh, plants all seem to grow well in it. I'll just try and clean this up a little bit more. There don't seem to be many bad roots on. No mealy bug or anything like that. Some bad roots around here, and would you believe it? It's were the sphagnumus. Always bad roots were the sphagnum. I don't know. That can come off as well. That uh, that little bulb. Although it's got some nice roots on it, I might plant it up and see what happens. It's 
take off all the dead stuff. And I haven't made my mind up what I'm going to plant it in yet. What I'm going to plant it in, in small bark or medium bark. But well, seeing as it's been in this, uh, this soil, it looks like fine bark with some uh, bit of live moss in. Not sphagnum though, just a, just a bit of live moss. Just to keep it a little bit damp, but keep it open. Uh, from what I've read on these lately, that they should be repotted every couple of years. So they've got some nice long roots on there. Well, I don't need all of them. So we'll just chop them off to we'll just chop them off to the same length. This is what you do with uh, cat layers, of course, when you're repotting them. If the roots are too long, just chop them all off. That's it. And then that's ready for uh, repotting. Well, I've decided to uh, plant this up in some fine, fine bark, uh, some perlite, and, and some uh, some medium bark there with a few grow stones in. This should suffice, it should do alright in that, but uh, I'm going to put it in a, a black pot and uh, because the roots are growing long and the black pot's a little bit deep, so it should do fine in there. Anyhow, we'll get it potted up and see what it looks like. Here, another sitting down job I could do, do with these all day. Anyhow, I'll get all this mixed together. All the fine stuff will virtually nearly all drop to the bottom. We'll put some in there. Got beautiful, nice big suitable there. It must be five or six inches long. Nice and f nice fitment in the pot. Sure the roots are going down, not coming back up the sides. And then we'll pot it up. Some more, uh, a little bit more bark in here. Right, I'll just finish up doing this, then I'll give it a good watering. I think that looks fine. So that's my, uh, I don't know, Adontagossum or Vulcus, Vulstichiara or Cambrian or whatever it is. Anyhow, such a beautiful flower when it does flower. Well thank you very much for watching and I'm just going to pop this in some uh, water so I can enjoy it for the next couple of days before it really goes off. So uh, thanks to all my subscribers and uh, until I see you next time, I'll see you all later. Bye.